this is a new event for all of us. So generally we're all still studying every detail of the event, the thing that interests me the most is the war strategy so I'm looking into that first. And I've gathered some basic knowledge, and some are still in the advanced stages, and now I'm going to cover what I already know. The first thing is how we can attack and what we can't attack, I've done a few trials. Here there is an alliance that is building a fortress, and this is in the starting area or in the same kingdom area. As can be seen we can not attack another alliance fortress. But we can do scout and that's it without being able to attack. That's because to attack the opponent's building there are rules, we can see it here. So in essence, the opponent's alliance building must be on the border with ours. An example like this. So this is exactly how banners work during the Tide of Darkness event. So when our tower meets another alliance tower then we can attack their alliance tower. Then as for the castle, you also can't attack them as long as they are within their alliance territory. So that means as long as you are in your alliance territory no one can attack you. And just like before you can only scouting. And that's it unless the castle is out of their alliance territory. And to different kingdoms it is the same. You can't attack but you can scout. Next about tiles, for tiles you can attack anyone even if they are in their alliance territory. But I don't think it's necessary. Furthermore as you can see we cannot teleport into other alliance territory. Furthermore for dead and injured troops, there is an oddity in this guide, first in English it is written. During battle in alliance buildings and landmarks and when you attack other lords estates, the baseline troop death rate is 5%. No troops will die when fighting at a resources node or defending your own estate. That's what it says in English, but when I changed it to Indonesian there was another addition. Written here, when attacking another lord city, the baseline troop fatality rate is 100%. This is a Google translation from Indonesian to English. And as we saw earlier when in English this writing does not exist at all, what is certain, it is clear that there is no 100% number written. And honestly this is very confusing and which one is correct. And if in Indonesian this is true what does it mean and how does it work? So I'm going to do a test to find out, if you're still in doubt you can do a test yourself. Now I will do a test to see the troops lost and wounded in this event. First for castle defense. There's resource data in this report, so it's the same as kingdom raid events, and civil wars where you can also loot resources if you attack other castles. In this report no troops were killed, all of them were injured and entered the conquest hospital. Next on tiles. All of them were only injured and no troops were killed. In total, from these three reports, 206,000 troops were injured. Now let's check. The number is the same not a single troop is lost. 
and you need to know that the injured troops will remain in the conquest hospital even if you return to the original kingdom. So for KVK and other events you have to heal them first. But as we can see, in order to heal wounded troops in the uncharted sea, you don't need resources, but something else called medicine. And you can increase its capacity and production with research. Furthermore to speed up healing, just like a normal hospital, we can use speed up or gold. And the time is much faster than normal healing. And you need to know that talent does not work for the troops in this hospital. The number of troops in the conquest hospital did not decrease at all. And healing speed and cost also don't work with population surge talent, so it really doesn't work. Next I'll try hitting the castle. And see what happens if I lose in the attack. In this report, none of the troops were killed. Even when completely defeated in attack all troops are only injured. And the number of troops in the hospital is exactly the same as the total troops in the report. And so far there has been no loss of any troops. Everything is just a wound. And now when fighting in towers or alliance buildings. I happen to have a few battles in the tower to complete this video. and the results of the report you can see for yourself. So all troops were only injured, and entered the conquest hospital. But you need to know that at this time the example I gave is from a battle in the same kingdom, because it has not been able to fight with other kingdoms. And we do not know for sure how the system. Because so far none of this information is working. Where it says the baseline troop death rate is 5%. But in fact, from all the reports, not a single troop was lost. So maybe the system works if it's fighting with other kingdoms. We'll find out later. See you.